uh, hello everyone, this is going to be a hamster cage haul. Um, to start off, this was requested by my pampered pets, who I do know from the forum. So check out our channel, please subscribe to her, she's awesome, and she's got cute bunnies. Um, well actually it wasn't really requested, she wanted a hamster video. So, this is kind of a hamster video. Um, so yeah, here's an overview of it. It is a Savick Cambridge hamster cage. It cost me about £35. My actual very first video is on this cage. So if you want to check that out, please do. Um, so yeah, this is an overview. It's got a light blue base. It's pretty big. It, I got it because it fitted on my desk perfectly. So yeah, I'll start here, so he's got his water bottle here, as he was just drinking from. So yeah, just the spout down there. Okay, the top level, he's got his food dish, and he's got this treat package, which he likes to go in and then come out from, uh, like, come through, and he also likes to sit on top of it. There's also a door here, which I can use to grab him. But I don't really use this door much because he usually comes to me down here. And here he is demonstrating sitting in his food bowl. So yeah. And then you've also got the Sputnik. But he doesn't really use it that much. He doesn't like going in it. But it doesn't take up space because it's hanging on the roof. So I thought I'd keep it in there just in case he fancies going in there. Hello little Hazza. Hey Hazza. Oh, you sweet. Mm. He's so in your face. <laughs> yeah, and then they've got the long green ladder down there. Um, you've got another door here. This is the main one I use to get him out and stuff and streak him. Ooh. He just wants to escape. But yeah, this is the main door I use. And he's also got his wheel up here, which is a wooden wheel, um, 8 inch, because it's got to be big so that they don't arch their backs, because they spend a lot of time running on his wheel at night. He, I can still hear him in the bathroom. So yeah, that's all the levels and stuff. I might try and get him some chew toys to put up there too. So yeah, that's the top level. I'm now going to show you the bottom level. Oh, Harry! I've had to put him here because... If I leave him on the bottom without a cage top, he will just try and escape. Oh, say bye bye, Harry. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, sorry, here. Yeah. Okay, so here's the cage. I'll start on this end. Um, he. This is the Savic Igloo. This is where he sleeps. Um, this bit is under his first level, so it's nice and dark under here for him. Um, he's just got his tissue and stuff in there, and he's got his food stash. He loves sleeping in there. And then here is the hamster potty I bought the other day. It was only £2 something, so it's really cheap. Um, but he comes out of his bed, comes in here, pees on poos or whatever, and then goes back in. So yeah, as you can see, he's using it. All that pee. But yeah, it keeps the smell down because I change this every day. He actually doesn't poo at all on his bed. Um, so yeah, I don't have to change it out that much. He's in his wheel. Aren't you, Harry? <laughs> he loves his wheel. And it's also light blue to match the base. I thought that was pretty good. This is light blue too to match. <laughs> um. So yeah, where is I? So yeah, this keeps smells down because I change it every day. Yeah, he's bedded on sawdust. Um, yeah, um, he's got shredded paper, sawdust, and tissue paper in there. Um, then there's this thing. Um, nice and cheap, just some wooden logs. He likes to climb on these to get onto the level. He also likes to eat them. And he doesn't go under that much, but he does sometimes. Then he's got his Pringles tube, which he's kind of chewed a little bit, but he loves going through this as a tube. It's nice and long too. 
And then he's got toilet roll tube which I need to replace because he's chewed it all up for his bed. He uses um, cardboard as bedding too. Um, then he's got this puzzle playground which is new. Um, as you can see it was missing a piece. I'm not sure if it's meant to be like that but I didn't have that and I definitely haven't lost it. I've checked everywhere and it definitely didn't come like that so I think it's missing a piece. It's designed to be like the one on the box, just with that one. But I'm actually quite glad it's missing because he runs up his ladder, he comes from his tube, runs up his ladder and jumps in, which is cute. He's got his little entrance holes there and there, and he loves this. Um, and yeah, he likes sitting on top of it too. He can sit up here as well. I put some sawdust on the bottom of it, as you can see, because it's plastic and I thought it would be a bit horrible on his feet looks pretty cool in there. He's got lots of air in there because these have got holes and like this too. He likes um, going in, sticking his head up and jumping out here and then going back down again. It's really cute. So yeah. Oh god. I bought this cage because it fitted perfectly on my face. It's kind of like here's my bird and it's there so it's perfect for me. And yeah, Harry loves it, don't you boy? I'm just going to put a quick video of him playing in his puzzle playground. Okay, so here he is. Hopefully he'll play and not just try to escape. Oh, you naughty boy. He, he is a Syrian and he still fits through it, which is good. Because it is pretty small, but he squeezes through. Ready? Up his ladder. Go on, go back down. Ready? Jump. Okay, or not. Harry! There we go. <laughs> You're so fast. Go in that little. Go on, in. No. Not on, in. Wee. <laughs> go on. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, even my little fatty fits for you. Stop trying to escape. I think he needs to have his bath time. Um, play time, sorry. Because he's getting a bit energetic. Aren't you, Harry? He's got his ball too. He's got so much energy. So yeah, there's this little cage. Um, thanks for requesting and stuff. So yeah, bye. Subscribe and rate and comment. Yeah, bye.